What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to the channel. Got in a reel from a customer that I'm working on. Um, I'm waiting for parts for the painted reels here. This is that flat black repainted the Daiwa logo. It's got like the green splatter on it. It's kind of like green neon kind of stuff you see at like a paintball park or like a indoor laser tag. Um, but I got in this reel. It's a BFS reel. I would say it's more of a budget BFS reel, but I hear it's uh, really good out of the box. I've never seen one. Never even had one in my hands. So i uh, curious to break it down. I'm going to do a full like tooth line grease on it or Daiwa grease, whatever. Um, I'm going to spool polish it. I'm going to swap out the spool bearings. Pretty sure it takes three, eight, fours on the side plate and the spool. So this might be the lightest reel that's been in the shop. It might be the lightest reel in production right now. Maybe not. I mean, it's pretty light. This box is absolutely nothing. But this is it. This is the Dark Wolf from Tusinoria. Tusinoria. Something like that. I don't want to butcher it too bad. So, yeah, it's the Dark Wolf. BFS Reel. Let's open it up. Here's the reel. It does come with the reel bag. This reel bag is identical. So the ones that come in the Dobbins reels, um, which doesn't surprise me since both reels are made in China. So maybe the same factory or just whatever. I mean, maybe they're sharing parts. Um, but this is the reel. This is the Dark Wolf. It's kind of like a flat gray, flat black color to it. You can see here, you can hopefully see right here on the tension knob, it's got the wolf on it, Dark Wolf scripture here. This is a seven one to one gear ratio. It has a Swiss cheese spool. It does have a carbon handle as well. This is a pretty small handle. It's probably 80 mil or less. It's got like the carbon Zion knobs, very similar to the Daiwa SLP Daiwa carbon Zion knobs. Um, this is a 10 one to one or a, a 10 plus one bearings. Real, so you got two here, two here, two here. So that's six. You know, where the other four, one here, one here, one here, one here. So I'm gonna break it down and see where the bearings are. If there's no bearings on the worm gear, I might swap those bushings out and put bearings if I have the right size. I'm gonna open this guy up here. It's very Shimano-esque with the spool and braking system on it. So here is the spool. It is very bored out, drilled out spool thing weighs absolutely nothing and there's one of the 384 bearings on the spool shaft and then here's your braking system it is the magnets with the 384 spool in the middle there as well pretty simple brake system clicks pretty easy to do but we're gonna break it down i'm gonna open it up uh, see how dry or see how lubed it is inside. Just curious to see what I'm guessing are probably aluminum gears just because it is so light. This reel weighs 135 grams. That is a 4.7 ounces. So it's probably not the lightest, but it's very close. Uh, I think there's some other ones that are like 130 grams maybe. But this thing is not bad out of the box. It just needs a little bit of TLC to it. If you weren't going to swap the spool bearings, you could probably just flush the stock ones. Um, but hell, if you're if you're taking that bearing off the, the, the spool, you might as well swap it with a uh, like a Boca or a Roro or something like that on a little bit better ceramic with small, small bearings in it. So there it is. This is the Dark Wolf BFS reel. This is a little bit more budget friendly than like the Alphys Airstream Customs, the Limiteds, all that kind of stuff. So... There it is. Smash that thumbs up, guys. I'm going to break it down here. I'm going to do the overhead view and see what's inside. And we'll uh, see you guys here soon. Peace.